Statewide, there were 547 new cases reported, 29 more deaths. That brings our total to 43,754 cases, more than 4,000 deaths. But a big milestone in Detroit today. The city reports no new deaths from coronavirus, though cases did increase to nearly 9,400. Now, we don't want to overstate the good news. The state says numbers may be lower on weekends because we're getting fewer testing results from the labs. Still, the numbers are encouraging. Both Governor Whitmer and the state's top medical executive appeared on national news this morning to talk about Michigan's progress. And both reiterated that we're not out of the woods just yet as a fight heats up in Lansing over the stay at home order. Victor Williams is live tonight and Victor, the governor says she is not negotiating during a pandemic. Yes, that's exactly what the governor says. Bottom line is because she cannot. We're in the middle of a crisis, and even though it seems like the curve may be flattening a little bit, people are still dying left and right. This is a public health crisis that has taken the lives of over of almost 70,000 Americans. Governor Whitmer spoke strongly on a CNN newsroom interview this morning about the status of the state of Michigan and her efforts to slow down COVID-19 with their stay at home order that was extended to May 15. And whether you agree with me or not, I'm working to protect your life if you live in the state of Michigan. With more than 3.4 million infected globally and 244,000 dying worldwide, the state is seeing a bit of a slowdown, at least in some places, with 547 new cases statewide and only 29 newly reported deaths, yet still a high number overall. We have over 43,000 uh, cases and over 4,000 deaths. We are still having parts of the state that are seeing an increase in the rate of rise of cases, and we know that their hospital capacity is, is not what it should be. Michigan Chief Deputy Director of Health Dr. Janae Caldoun spoke of the numbers with NBC's Meet the Press and says although the state is remaining cautiously optimistic, we still need to be careful. Even in Southeast, quite frankly, even though we're seeing a decrease in the rate of rise, we're still seeing many, many cases and many deaths every day. But for the first time in the city of Detroit, there have been no new deaths reported as people slowly make their way out to public parks on one of the first warm days of the year. Meanwhile, the opposition is strong with multiple protests carrying on, even one in the state capitol, an incident that Governor Whitmer calls one of the worst showcases of racism in the country. The Confederate flags and nooses, the um, swastikas, the, you know, behavior that you've seen in all of the clips is not representative of who we are in Michigan, the vast majority of whom are doing the right thing. And that's why we've seen our curve get pushed down. We've saved lives in the process. And more good news here in the state of Michigan. There are over 15,000 recoveries of COVID-19. Victor Williams, Local 4.